guys, it is me, Giselle16 here, and I am doing a bit of a different video today. This today is going to be a tutorial on how to use um, this over here, which changes um, PC texture packs over to the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. Um, so... First, you need to down actually download this. So, oh, so this is called PC Texture to PE. It's a texture pack converter. Um, so you want you will want to click download over here. I already have it downloaded. And then you will want your texture pack that you're going to use. For this example, I'm using this texture pack, which is actually for um, Minecraft 1.12, if anyone's wondering. Um, so what you are going to want to do is open up the... Um, you're going to want to open up the, why can't I remember what it's called, open up the program, oh my gosh, <laughs> and you're going to want to leave it as, depending on how it, um, you got it, you're going to want it to import, um, type as zip or folder, when I downloaded the texture, it did it as a zip. And then you're going to want to, you can output it as a folder, a zip, or an MCP pack. I chose MCP pack. Um, so the pack, you would choose the pack. I chose this one, which is open. What do you want to output? I chose my downloads pack name and then you press start I have already done this so I will now take you over into Minecraft and show you what this looks like okay okay I am back into Minecraft now and go into this world the texture pack has downloaded I will now add the see and it says converted by PC texture to PE or PC texture to PE and I will add it play And if you just heard that, that was my sister coming into the room. And as you can see, the textures have been converted over. This was just a little bit of a quick tutorial on how you can change a texture pack that is originally from the PC over to, uh, to the Bedrock Edition. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful, um, and I'm hopefully going to be doing a video on how to change the um, a PC world over to the Bedrock Edition, because I have found a program for that, actually I found two programs for that. I just have not figured out how to do it yet, so hopefully in the near future I will figure out how to do that. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like and comment below what else you'd like to see, and 